Hi, I'm David Olala, President and Chief Innovation Officer for SkyPoint Ventures from Flint, Michigan, and this is Entrepreneurs in Elevators. We are working with the MEDC to highlight innovators and entrepreneurs who are making an impact throughout the state. Today we're in Grand Rapids, Furniture City, meeting with J.T. Weiss, CEO of Abcor Industries. You want to grab a cup of coffee and let's chat about entrepreneurism in Michigan? Absolutely. Sounds great. Perfect. Great. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Today we're in a vintage lift with hand shot peened brass wraps and mahogany wood. We're going up and down in a building so old it has three names, the Fulton Commerce Building, Leonard Building, which most importantly is home to the Grand Rapids Collaborative. So JT, what is Abcor? Uh, we have the technology for powder coating wood. Really? Yeah, yeah. Powder coating wood. I've yeah. heard of powder coating metal, yeah, but you has. powder coat wood. Yeah. <laughs> what are the advantages to powder coating wood versus wet paint? Yeah, laminates? so we're about four times more durable than wet coat paint and 100% environmental. Well, thanks for coffee, JT. So would I be accurate to say this is actually the process is bonding at a molecular level? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to say that because it, yeah, it sounds, sounds like good, really doesn't impressive, it? Yeah, doesn't it? Though. So interesting, you have a renewable resource as, as the base material and you're powder coating onto wood. But the furniture industry generally has kind of a hidden secret as it's not the greenest process yeah. on the planet, right? Absolutely. And, and it's really an under the surface uh, kind of situation because I don't know what's under my laminate, for instance. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Um, the 800 pound gorilla in the furniture industry is laminate. And with laminate, you've got to edge band it, and so it's not 100% recyclable. The adhesives have dangerous off gassing. It'll sit in the landfill for a, a million years, um, and it doesn't have a low carbon footprint. And, and Google, one of our customers is Google, and, and they're demanding a health product declaration. They want to know down to the molecular level what is in their furniture in every one of their offices across the country. And they will not have any red list ingredients. And a red list ingredient is something that's found inside of laminate. Okay. So um, we don't have any red list ingredients at all. I want to switch back to Google, right? Because um, most entrepreneurs starting out are looking for that customer that's going to be a catalyst and elevate that company. And sometimes they show up and sometimes you have to hunt them down. Yes. But how do you get Google and what product is Google using of yours? So here's, here's what's really important for, to get a customer like Google. And we don't ship directly to Google. So I supply to a furniture manufacturer who sold to Google. But to get Google's attention, we must get the attention of an architecture and design firm. Okay. So we work with firms like Gensler and Gensler is the largest architecture and design firm in the world, and they are Google's A&D firm. Uh, once Gensler was aware of our technology, they said, wow, we didn't know you could powder coat wood. They, they saw the environmental side, and then the most important part was the design side. You know, shaped, curvilinear, collaborative spaces. So Google has purchased uh, adjustable height uh, desks, and uh, so they wanted it for the green purpose. They wanted it for the collaborative workspace. So, JT, you talked about the support in the Grand Rapids and the Holland area. You're in the furniture capital of the world. Uh, you talked about some of the local support mechanisms here, but we're in the great state of Michigan. And so maybe you could speak a little bit about the Michigan ecosystem and how it's supportive and, and why you chose Michigan. I mean, you moved from Paris and now you're in Michigan. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I got a chance to meet uh, uh, a guy named Brooks Kindle, whose uh, uh, grandfather actually started the Kindle Furniture Company, uh, great furniture company. He works for the SBDC now, and uh, the SBDC has been just phenomenal. We, uh, we had the good fortune of being named a top 50 company to watch uh, in 2016. Brooks and the SBDC team have really helped network us. They've got some other business planning tools that we've uh, discussed and looked at. So the SBDC, SBDC has been really, really uh, important to our, our development. JT, great meeting you. David, thank you very much. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, really I really appreciate it. Hit you up for some panels for sure. Absolutely. All right. I look forward to it. Okay. Enjoy your ride at the top. Thank you. Okay. Take care.